Rob. Yes, Tony. Is Carter worth watching? No. Fuck yeah, it is. No, it's not worth watching. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, my God. It was it's awesome. Not, no. It was awesome. No, it was not worth watching. It was awesome. It reminded yeah. me of my good old Kung Fu Friday. Oh, we watched those movies. It's just, just ridiculously crazy. Oh, yeah. The biggest thing that kept annoying me through the movie was just how it was constructed. Mm-hmm. Like, the one take thing is fine if you can execute it properly, and they couldn't. And I don't know if it was they couldn't or they didn't want to. I don't know what, mm-hmm. what, what the choice. It doesn't matter to me because I'm watching the movie, right? And it just kept, like, annoying the fuck out of me. Like, it kept taking me out of the movie. It, you know, it kept reminding me I was watching movie. Like, the whole point mm-hmm. of cuts in a movie is to be invisible. Mm-hmm. You want, after, like, five minutes, to realize you stop seeing cuts in a movie and you're just watching the story and you're watching things happen. And it's a really tricky thing to, to do properly. And, like, all of the cuts in this movie just fucking kept pissing me off. Yeah, there are a few bad ones. There's a lot of bad ones. There's a few really There's bad ones. There's a lot of bad ones. Here's a play-by-play of every scene in this movie. Okay, a bunch of crazy shit happens, a cut. And then another cut happens. And then one more cut, and then more crazy shit, and then cut, cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> the name should have been Cutter and not Carter because that's <laughs> Cutter. I was so distracted by how they put the movie together that I co- I f- kept finding myself not able to enjoy the choreography, the fight choreography, which was amazing in places. Mm-hmm. And then outside of the fight scenes, when we're doing the car chases and all that shit, like it was just so fucking crazy mm-hmm. that like it just didn't tie together. It just didn't work for me at all Dude. At, at any point. Carter is so much worth watching that I'm going to watch it again just so I can watch these fight scenes. You're going to watch it again? And then I'm going to fast forward to some scenes. Oh, my guy, God, That, that freaking bathhouse scene would be crazy. The bathhouse the bath scene was great. All right, just yeah. a couple of these scenes. What's your score? I gave Carter mm-hmm. a 3 out of 10. <laughs> Woo! Uh, <laughs> damn, he's harsh. I, I just didn't like it, man. That's why we have people like me, the common man who just wants to enjoy a movie and can appreciate some of the. What did you What did you give it, Tony? Oh, a four point seven. <laughs> I mean, we're not I'm not gonna sit there and lie like it was. <laughs> I'm not gonna fake like it was a masterpiece, but you know, but it's it's worth the watch. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's the doesn't mean he got a high score. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, shit. That's yeah, funny. yeah. No, it's definitely low in the score totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for those scenes alone, it's definitely worth watching. Just trying to like see the attempts of the one cut or the one the one camera shot and, you know, seeing all the kung fu. Like, that, that's, that's worth a watch right there, you know. Yeah. This is coming from a guy, you know, if you watch kung fu flicks, like, you know, you're not expecting... You know, all the time. It was just th- there were a few scenes in the movie where they where they sort of went back to more conventional camera mm-hmm. techniques, where the the camera wasn't wasn't locked down. It was never locked down, mm-hmm. but it was like the framing was normal and the pacing was normal and how they yeah like uh, the staging was normal. That's what I said. That said the cuts work best when it got slowed down a bit. Yeah. But then, yeah, then it would just go crazy and it would just lose me every single time. And I just wanted it. I would love this movie, bro. I would love somebody to remake this movie. Like, get all the same actors. They already know all the choreography. And just shoot it conventionally. Oh, yeah. And and just see what it would be like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And forget the wild shit, too. Like The The the, wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of the unnecessary plot points that don't go anywhere. That that just (laughs) convolute things for no reason. Uh, IMDb gave it a 5.1. Really? Okay, it's a bit generous. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes is a little bit more on point here. That uh, the um, critics gave it a thirty-two percent. Oh yeah, critics with me, baby. And, yeah. <laughs> and the fans gave it a thirty-eight <laughs> percent. So it's uh, yeah, it's not good. Listen, it's not good. A deliriously relentless action onslaught that should place Byung Gil Jong alongside the likes of Michael Bay. Nah, uh, no. No. Uh, well, maybe for like pointless camera work. Yeah. To watch an unbounded cinema spectacle. A cult, a caterwaul of action on top of, inside of, and to the side of other action. Carter's often as bewildering and exhausting as it is ritually entertaining. I would say if you have made it to this point in the podcast and you have not watched this movie yet, 
watch Hardcore Henry instead because <laughs> it does all the things that this movie does. Yeah, uh, but but better. I, feel I like. would say watch the first thirty. Watch minutes the first of, thirty minutes of Carter. Yeah, watch the first thirty minutes. Do the bathhouse scene. For full episodes, find us on your favorite podcast provider. Check us out on flicksworthwatching.com.